Hello, this is Brother Kromer from the Math Department of BYU-Idaho, and this is a supplement of Lesson 22 describing bivariate data, scatter plots, correlation, and co covariance. So I'm going to be covering how to do correlation or correlate and scatter plots in SPSS. Okay. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first cover correlate. I'm going to take the manatee data, and what I'm going to do is, is that I'm going to do uh, analyze, correlate, and then bivariates. Okay. And so I'm just, it doesn't matter which order you put in, I'm interested in, there's the year variable here, but I'm interested in both manatees, so I'm going to put both of those in there. It doesn't matter which order you put them in. And then the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on options and click on means and standard deviations. The reason for it is, is that when you're asked to calculate a covariance, you'll have the standard deviations as well as the correlation there, so you can have those three numbers to calculate your covariance. And if you click on OK, then you go to the output, you will see Here's the correlations. There's two of them because it, 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 it does something in SPSS where it says one's the x variable, the other's the y variable, and then it switches them. It really doesn't matter. In the end, you're going to get the same result. And then here's where you get the standard deviations. Okay. And then the second thing I'll talk about is how to get a scatter plot. So we're going to use graphs, legacy dialogs, and scatter dot. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to graphs, legacy dialog, and scatter dot. And I'll just we'll do a simple scatter, so I'll be defined. And so and now in this now for now it doesn't matter what goes in the x and what goes in the y, but in future when we cover this we're going to try to predict manatee killed based on the number of powerboat registrations. So I'm going to put manatee manatee killed in y, and powerboat registration in x. Okay, and then I click on OK and then voila you have a scatter plot. Okay, and what you can also do is that you can just go in here and you can edit some things. If you go to options title I'll just call it so. Um, power, you can just call power boat registration versus man T killed. And then that you could do a bunch of things with this, okay? And so that that's the video, and this is how we do both correlate and scatter plots for lesson 22.